What's happening, folks? I'm back with another reaction. Back with some more 88 Fingers Louie. You know, I was thinking about it. I reacted to I've Won, and I was thinking about that in relation to Pent Up, where Pent Up is a lot of emotional and psychological, psychological turmoil going on in the mind of the narrator. And then later in the album, you get I've Won. He's very happy about this relationship. But it occurred to me, something I don't know, is the next tune on Behind Bars in 1995, and it's about a relationship that's clearly gone sour, and, you know, they're, if they're communicating at all, it's only for her to tell him how little she thinks of him, and, you know, he's gotten this sort of, um, you know, dismissive or sardonic attitude where he's sort of like, yeah, I'll just, you know, go ahead and tell me, yeah, sure, I know all that already. Um, so it, it seems like it's turned into a very negative thing. So, I don't know, again, Never back in the day did I think of this as a concept album or that it might represent some, you know, narrative in time. But having thought about Pent Up and then I've Won and then Something I Don't Know, which again falls right on the heel of I've Won, uh, it suddenly seems like maybe there's a larger story that I miss. So uh, shout out to 88 Fingers Louie. As I mentioned when I reacted to the studio version of I've, or not I've Won, um, Something I Don't Know, uh, uh, there is a live version on their compilation, 88 Fingers Up Your Ass, which I think includes a number of uh, tracks that were from different EPs and so on. Um, I realized, I remember, there's a really good track called Too Many, which, like something I don't know, uh, there's a recorded version of it and then a live version at the end of the album. So, uh, maybe not in this session, but the next time I come back for 88 Fingers Louie, I'm going to react to the recorded version of Too Many and then the live version of Too Many. So, um, yeah, bottom line, um, I enjoyed catching up with their music and in particular something I don't know, which I didn't really remember. I remembered a line about like, maybe I'm crazy, but it was like, literally, you know, you're too busy except to tell me that I'm crazy. Um, so the idea that, again, she barely gives him the time of day and when she does, it's just to complain about how low he is and you know, again, he's gotten this attitude about it. So, um, yeah, uh, as I said, uh, they do a live performance here, which is taken from a tour they did of Germany. And indeed, I had to just check. Um, and in fact, I've talked about a lot of punk rock albums. Oh, they have a lot of the talking before the song. Well, this is one case where it's it's sort of like that, but there's an important like bit that you get at the end of the previous track. Um, so I've cued it to the very end of the previous track where they start talking to the audience uh, which leads into a pretty funny bit at the start of um, the live performance of Something I Don't Know. So here we go, 88 Fingers Louie, Something I Don't Know from their 88 Fingers Up Your Ass compilation. Uh, and this is taken, as I said, from a live performance they did uh, in Germany. I've learned some time ago that it's better not to talk between songs because... <laughs> <laughs> So shut your mouth, the German nonsense. Now I'm going to do that. We'll introduce the next song. Uh, it's a song. A, do a song, and this goes out to the Daffy Duck Flipball Association. Stern. This is for Stern, that German vermin roadie. This one's called Something I Don't Know. Oh, I'm gonna squeeze you like a tube between. Thank you. 
on the. Uh... All right, we're gonna end this a little early because I uh, don't want to embarrass myself and these guys anymore. Woo! I can hear his voice just gone. All right. Yeah, we'll do too many for Chris, and we gotta get out of here. So thanks for sticking around. Too many is a really good song, and it's a good song to end with. Um. But yeah, I forgot about that bit at the beginning where he's like, oh, I learned it's better not to talk. And someone quick to the point is like, well, then shut up. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, uh, carrying on the punk rock tradition of playing their material 1.5 speed, right? Like it's it's keyed up, it's, you know, electrified from the studio version. And I mentioned before, you know, one of the first shows I remember going to um, of a group that would like later become pretty big, I saw Blink-182 early in their career um, after they put out Cheshire Cat. And I saw them at this, like, it was literally an espresso bar. It was an espresso bar in San Juan Capistrano. Um, and there was maybe like a few dozen people there. I didn't even think there was a hundred people there. Um, but they played everything from Cheshire Cat, like double speed. Like, I mean, there's a bonus song on Cheshire Cat called The Pens. It's like about adult diapers. It's very silly. And on the album, it has sort of a jokey feel to it. It fucking thrashed in the live performance. Again, they played crazy fast. Um, and I've seen a number of bands. Again, like I've seen Propagandi. Um, a number of their songs sounded very close to the studio album, but a couple of their faster tunes, I, when I've seen them play live, they played even faster. Um, when I saw them in 2017 on the tour for Victory Lap, they played Back to the Motor League, and they keyed that one up a little bit. Um, so yeah, uh, again, it sounds like something I don't know here was like one and a half times speed, or you know, at least a little faster than the version on Behind Bars. Um, again, I sympathize. You can hear his voice like cracking, um, which, you know, it's funny the way he words it. Like, I don't want to embarrass these guys anymore. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to coming back for too many. I'll do the same thing where I'll react to this, the recorded version, which is earlier on the CD. I don't remember what EP it came for. I have a couple of different things by them. I used to have that split I mentioned. I have another CD called The Dom Years, which I believe relates to their drummer. I believe it's like earlier in their career where they had a different drummer and it's like, you know, stuff that didn't end up on other albums. Um, so I'll come back for that stuff eventually, but lots more to go through. Uh, I'm going to keep going through Mad Caddies. I'm going to keep going through an occasional Bad Religion, Propagandi, and so on. Um, but yeah, uh, someone reacted or commented on one of my early reactions to 88 Fingers Louie. It was like, you know what? i got to get back to that. So in any case, um, yeah, we'll do two of too many next time. Do let me know what you think of this live performance. I will see you next time. Peace.